on a trip with our newborn. Original bad man. Good morning, my loves, and welcome or welcome back for another vlog. <laughs> I'm Quina. This is going to be our first time going on a trip with our newborn or since she's past eight weeks, our baby. It's crazy. I already have like a million things in my head such as how many diapers do I pack? You know, how many outfits do I pack and such, but we're gonna get prepared we're gonna do everything, pack everything. I'm gonna take you guys with me and we're gonna figure out what to pack. I have to pack for the baby, for myself, for our little doggo, because she's coming as well. And we're gonna go on a trip to Pag, which is close to Zadar. And I love Zadar. We have been on the nicest trip ever together, our first trip ever together, pre-baby. And it was so beautiful, so I'm looking forward to having some time in nature and just being together and kind of settling down because I've been a little bit anxious, a little bit stressed. We all know how it is postpartum. So, I'm going to charge my camera batteries because obviously I forgot because I have mom brain. <laughs> and then I'm going to take you guys with me to pack everything and to prepare. We already got dressed. I kind of quickly prepared myself sweet little baby peed herself in the bed she's hanging out over there behind me <laughs> so yeah she's prepared as well daddy's still sleeping because he came home late yesterday but I'm looking forward and let's get into it Does like six or seven a day. In the early morning, baby. Are you naked? A woman. Are you naked? A woman. Oh, you're very naked. A camera. <laughs> we love it. Okay, so we have diaper. We can pack it together. A what? A North Face bag? Yeah. Yeah, I think that my stuff will fit in there. Well, I mean, no, because I need to bring my laptop and stuff too. I mean, like my laptop and my clothes or? Yeah. So this is usually our little go bag. So what tends to be inside is a bunch of diapers, an extra outfit. Where is the hmm, hand sanitizer? I think I might have put it in the car, but we use this hand sanitizer. This is the big pack and I just put it in like a bunch of um, the little ones. So this is the disinfection thing for you can use it for everything basically but it has essential oils very very nice very very nice we love this so then what else we usually have wipes in here and that's basically it so diapers wipes extra outfit and hand sanitizer so that we always have that and for now i'm also going to put this little like kit inside I'm just gonna put this one, but it's a bit smaller. This one has a bit more stuff. I'm just gonna switch over this nail file because they have the little, little, little nail files in here, but they're not really quite enough. And then maybe a little bit of a soap. If we have it. Okay. 
Uh huh. I wanted to put this in here. I think I'm gonna put this in a smaller jar and then put it inside. Take a deep breath, you're gonna be okay. Baby. And I love phone. Just told me to take a look at this house that we're gonna buy. Beautiful, isn't it? Hi, Junkie. Where's our second Junkie? Gino. So we are doing a little pit stop at the Supernova Mall, which is basically the only place that's open right now. And we're over here with Chichi. Chano's getting some food over there. And yeah, that's all. A little food. What? Motorcycle. She was like, is everything okay? And I was like, everything's fucking okay. Good luck. So we have arrived to the Airbnb. Someone is bringing in bags. Oh, Chi Chi's on that bag. On the bag, Chi Chi. Dalmatian. And here is the bedroom. <laughs> it's very cute. The couch is kind of out of place, I feel. I mean, with the kitchen being like green and all vibes, and then you have that, and then there's this couch. Bit odd. Bit odd. And then we have ourselves. And then there is the outside area. And the little balcony. And they have these little, like, French windows. Very cutesy. We're giving feet. Hello, where are we? We are on the river. We're missing some people. <laughs> I'm 
original bad man. Give them Ronaldo. Give them Rivaldo. Step in the place and they can't see me. Gucci for me, brother, and give and she day. Dribble like Madonna. Say she want be a loner. Bad man be the owner. Every day, bad man, they phone her. Oh, my boss, my brain. She they give me oh, Oh, my one gyrate. Oh. She they wine and go. Oh, my one day crazy. Oh. She they give me oh, Oh, my brand new place. Oh. She they wine and go. So we're up for dinner. However, little baby Avea is not having it. So she is feeling a little bit, I think, colicky or something of the sort. So it's um, us taking turns holding her and walking, <laughs> which is a totally different, I guess, than our experience that you would like to have. But that's the reality of how it is sometimes with baby. I'm here with little Chino. Chi Chi, our doggy. We are. We were sleeping last night and we co sleep with her while we we're going on a trip. This is our first trip, so I guess that's what we explored today. But. The bed wasn't that big, so my partner slept, like, horizontally at the end, <laughs> at the foot end. And then me and her slept, like, up top, but sat kind of sideways. So that was interesting. Um, the weather doesn't look as sunny today, so we are planning to go to the beach, but let's see how it's going to go and how long we're going to be there. Luciano's planning on going spearfishing. And we're just going to be there for the scenery. I'm just going to get ready now because I have a meeting in an hour. And I need to do some prep work for that. And then I'll be ready to go to the beach and do some exploring. I'm there. Here I am. So we're currently at the beach and there is literally barely any service here. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beach. Let me try to show you. Over there. Luciana went spear fishing. I'm trying to put baby to sleep. She's a little bit colicky. So in light of sharing the good, the bad, and the ugly. Basically, we were just down there. The channel is spearfishing and I just couldn't, I couldn't handle it anymore. We were with Doggo over there. And Baby was upset. Doggo was growling at other people who just happened to come. There was one guy who came down and I literally just packed up some stuff and I went to sit in the car. <laughs> and now we all need to just relax and chill our nervous system the fuck out because <laughs> that was a well sign. So the little lady was hungry, understandable. I'm also always hungry. <sighs> I feel like in moments like these, I just want to get real and be real and let you guys know that not every day is a walk in the park and not everything is as easy as it seems post baby. I feel like in these moments, I really have to take a breath <laughs> and just relax and realize that not everything is like just so serious. It's all just a wild journey and a wild ride. And there's no need to take it so seriously. She know.
This one is again growling at people. We're just walking to their car. She's having a growling day. So we're all having a day at this point. And I'm like, I just want to go home. But scenery is so beautiful. I could even, I, I don't mind sitting in the car and just looking out and seeing everything around us. Taking it in and then thinking about coming back without doggy. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey, you're gonna have to go to a babysitter and to just be together. I think it's really hard sometimes if you go and you're alone with the baby and then there's also the dog. It can just be complicated and I've heard people talk about this sometimes, like their relationship with their animals and how it changes and God, I love my dog and a few days ago I was still crying thinking about the idea that she's going to pass at some point. But... I can also acknowledge that it gets hard sometimes, it is complicated sometimes, and that's okay too, I think. Like, as moms, I feel we get to have this like long ass grace period of like one year plus, <laughs> where things are just the way they are, and that gets to be okay. And that's something that I'm learning as well. And lots of breastfeeding. <laughs> So we continue our journeys. We drop Chi Chi off at and home. And this would be a divorce behind, don't it? You know? Divorce? Yes. If, for example, I dry cut them and then you buy yourself Kawasaki. How is that a divorce? It's a divorce. Why? Because you cannot buy yourself a motorcycle that you want. <laughs> now we're gonna go for dinner. Girl dinner. Are we going for a girl dinner? Girl dinner. Howling. <laughs> oh, so man was okay. Yeah. That's good. I see, I see. No, no, eat no feet. Too tall. <laughs> oh, this one. And we are back home. I'm about to unpack Abea's bag. So this is going to be showing you guys what I used and what I didn't. So we still have this. I actually didn't use her little necessities, but I would pack it again on the next trip. Also, don't mind my messy hair. I just woke up. I think we used two of the outfits. She didn't have any blowouts, bless our souls. We still have two of the rompers. These go back in the closet. I don't remember how many diapers we brought, but we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve left. Unopened on rounds. 
she did get a sticky eye at the end of uh, our trip and when we got back home I just started to clean it so this would have been useful but we also needed some distilled water and it didn't bring that so next time I would bring a small thing of distilled water or whatever it's called the water that you use to clean shea butter we use this used about half of it white peas we still have two packs three packs in here we use one pack and then we have these burp cloths we basically used all of them but one and that is basically the end of this video guys i love you guys so much and i can't wait to see you in the next one if you want to see more mom content conscious content mom working from home <laughs> kind of stuff then for sure subscribe and follow my channel and i'm gonna talk to you guys soon